Hey yo, welcome back to Digi Daily. As you see, we are still not back at the set. I am indeed still at Jessica's house, but she is working on a super secret project right now. So I figured while she's doing that, I might as well film and edit today's episode. Obviously, we're not at the editing phase yet; we're at the filming phase. So let's just do a quick little goodbye. I mean, I'm still not, I'm still keeping them. There's no way in hell I'm just gonna let this go away because this is like a crowning achievement. Uh, you guys know how I am when it comes to getting really hard to get evolutions. You guys know how I am when it comes to getting really hard to get evolutions. 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 Uh, I like to keep them for a while. Uh, like the, uh, what was it? The Loose Mon Satan mode. Remember that? That was fun. I still miss him. But. We have Eevee, Ditto Eevee, specifically, still. And we do actually have an update on the uh, Progress PET. I actually did play it a bit, and we did make some progress. So uh, I'll leave this in the background so it's, it's not all completely black and you're not in this, or completely white void. Uh, but the star of the show, because we have, <clears throat> starting today as you're watching this, it will be the, um, the Mighty Bean Hatch. So we have my favorite Mighty Bean. We're gonna be raising Gyromon or Gromon. Jesus Christ, that was loud. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so now we just wait. This is gonna take a while, so I actually just put this over here. I think it takes like what 30 minutes for it to hatch. Something crazy like that. Um, but yeah, starting to hatch. I'm I'm really excited for this. I'm gonna end the tournament. We're doing another tournament. You know, taking a month. It didn't really feel like a month, but taking that you know, a couple weeks off uh, and stuff. It felt good, you know? Didn't have to worry about any tournaments, didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. Just, you know, just, just vibing. Just vibing. Uh, so. Got Mega Man. Oh yeah, I forgot the sound is off. Uh, one thing I forgot, this does light up when you plug in. I think that's really it. I don't think it lights up much. Uh, so, I either A, reached a high enough level or B, beat enough viruses because as of right now, a lot of these gates are no longer keeping us, I'll skip this, but all these gates are no longer keeping us out, which is a good sign. Uh, I still haven't found the boss yet, regrettably, but we're, we're getting there. I think we're close, uh, honestly. I really do. And so um, a lot of these gates are no longer, like I said, holding us back. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, you know, try and uh, try and get this done. So one thing I totally forgot about. Oh, let me get my battle chips ready. Uh, one thing I just totally forgot about is that Guardian is busted, like super busted. Um, I can just stay in the middle and slot the chip in. Okay, take it out. And no matter where they are, it's gonna hit them. It's a guaranteed hit, and I think it's like, what, almost 200 damage? So it kills almost everyone at one hit. So I've been killing a lot of viruses super quickly like that. Didn't really have to worry about too much. Oh, did I just hit level 12 now? Cool, okay, awesome. Um, now the, the, I wasn't doing too well in some battles, and so uh, his he's not full synchro anymore, which might bite us in the ass once we start trying to fight the boss if we get to him today, but uh, we'll see. Our little baby has not hatched yet. Uh, I gotta find a, a little guide too, because I don't really know exactly how to get to the teeny mod on the OGs. Um, but something else I found out while doing this, which I'm really happy about, if you hit OK anywhere on the map, you can check your stats, which is awesome. So if you, this first one's your stats. So I'm level 12, have 160 HP, AT's 13 trip limit is now four, which is good. SP is 40, I don't remember what that means. Uh, XP is 540. I think that's uh, as much as I have right now or how much I need to the next level. I cannot remember. Um, that's just kind of based on stuff. My Kokoro, really, really low. It's only 51. is hat, literally half. Uh, then again, doing anything drops that meter. You know, whether you're fighting the viruses or ignoring them or just walking around, it does drop the meter. Um, I was supposed to play the game before starting filming, but I forgot. But... We go back from there and we go over to the second option and we click a again and you can actually bring up the map in the game without having to leave which is awesome i, I didn't know you could actually do that um so we are here now it doesn't tell you on the map where the boss is but let's just try going up here we were over here last time i believe 
Um, so we're gonna try going back up there because there was a there was a gate there earlier. I'm gonna save right here real quick. I'm sorry. Um, there was oh there was a gate in here, and I think I'm good enough to pass it now. And I think actually that might be where uh, our boy is, uh, where uh, the first boss is, which I believe is Torchman or. It's one of Mr. Match's many viruses. I just think that's the most funniest running gag of the Battle Network series is that he keeps getting new versions of like the, the Heat Man, Heat Men, Fireman, Fireman. You know what I mean? Um, oh yeah, cool. So earlier I could not pass that. And I also couldn't pass that, I think on yesterday's episode too. I think I, I was in this area too. So, you know, we, we've reached the... Uh, Again, we re reached we reached some kind of prerequisite prerequisite. Can't talk today. <laughs> Which it is either um, you know our level or the amount of viruses we defeated. I'm not entirely entirely. I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, okay. Now, you know, usually when they put a save spot. Oh, ah, uh, okay. So. Um, those gates were level gates, that's from what I'm seeing. Oh, I was like, what the hell is that noise? Hey, look at him. He's adorable. Oh my god. One thing I did not notice about all the OGs, the baby, you know, this for age, this is the same sprite as the actual baby. I never noticed that because I usually only play with the 20th and my only OG V pet is actually a V1. But every single V pet, the this symbol is always the baby one form of the actual device. I think that's adorable. I wish they would have worked that in somehow in the version 20th. Instead, it's always going to be, it's always the Bodemon face. But um, yeah, so that's cute. Um, so, you know, there he is. I don't think we can do it. Oh, we can. Oh my God, I forgot. Oh, look at that. Not bad. Oh yeah, that's like super easy. I forgot literally every other, like, um, every single V-Pet other than the version one has a way better training system than the version one. Uh, this one is actually one of my favorites. Uh, this, this is the version three and I think the version five where you have to like stop it at exactly 100%. Those two are my favorites. Um, I like mashing and I like timing games. So I forgot about that. This is, this is probably going, this is definitely, not even probably, this is definitely my favorite OG ever. Like I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to top this. Uh, eventually I do wanna get one of those D1 special edition V pets just to have one um, because you know, they are somewhat rare, even though Japan Uet does sell them for a pretty good price most of the time. But other than that, I think nothing's going to top this because I really like the roster of the V3. I love this color, and I absolutely love the, uh, like I said before, the roster. There's a lot of cool Digimon on here. So we're going to try to go for a Teenymon. I don't exactly know what that means on here. I think it's similar to the 20th, uh, which means, you know, we get to... Um, I'm going to try to go for Patamon, and then from Patamon... I don't know, we treat it like somewhat like crap, and then that'll get us to where we need to go for Gyromon. But I will check on File Island, which is not the best, um, but I'll check File Island, and we'll kind of just go off of there. If you guys know how to get there, or if you guys know a really good guide for the OG V pets, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna need your help. Uh, so that's gonna be off the side, and we are here. Okay, so. Um, this, this is a, oh, oh shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> we made it. Oh shit. There he is. That's the boss. Oh my God. Okay. And it's Torch Man. Of course it is. And he's probably talking mad shit. Probably like, you can't fight me, Mega Man. I'm too big and bad. So it's Torch Man. We see his affinity, which is fire. I sadly don't have any water chips. I should have brought above V. That would have been smart. Um, and that's it. I, again, I don't have any Kokoro points, so I don't have full synchro. I can't do any of that stuff. So we're going to really have to go off of what we have. But what we have should be good enough. We'll see, though. Um, if not, I think we can re 
I think we can't fight him again. Okay, so we're gonna start out with uh, the big guns, which is Guardian, because Guardian, again, 200, and it's an AoE effect. Um, I think he might miss this, unless it's Heat Side. It is Heat Side, but thank God we did just barely missed it. <sighs> okay, so this is definitely gonna hit him. Okay, he's got a lot of health. Three. Oh boy. Okay, um, we'll do a roll next. Um, we're definitely gonna get hit with whatever he's gonna shoot out, so we gotta be really careful. The roll is gonna be next, and then next we're gonna do cannon, and then hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, I knew that was gonna be a direct hit, but that's fine. We gotta make sure that we gotta be really, really careful with our next. Um, thank God. Okay. We're not going to use that. Okay, we're just going to miss with the Mega Buster because he's, he's playing games right now. I wonder, can you reuse the chip? Huh, let's see. I doubt, but let's see. Oh my god, you can reuse chips. This is... I'm sorry. <laughs> just going to say sorry now. Because, uh, he did. I forgot, I, I can just spam one chip. Oh my god, the progress PT is the best. Look at that. Oh my god. Good night. Goodbye. Get that trash out of here. Oh my god, how great is that? We did it, guys. We beat the first boss. Oh my god, today's a great day. I don't know what that says. Oh, that says that we leveled up. That's our emotion window at the moment. And again, I don't know what that says. Ooh, damn girl. I forgot who that is. Um, and yeah, so now we have to find her. Um, so, and now the harder enemies. Uh, so let's fight him real quick. We'll go to the save point, and then I think that's actually going to be it for today because, um, the original V-Pets, as you know, super slow. Like, um, updates are going to be, you know, it's a good thing we're still playing with the Progress PT because if we weren't, uh, it'd be kind of a boring series because th there's not a lot that's going to be going on with the original uh, v pet you know it's like you get a new update like every so often oh my god wait a second we're in a new era hold on hold on, hold on. um yeah no we're in a new area i think right i think we're in a new area oh crap uh let's find a save point and then get the hell out of here because uh and again skipping battles really frowned upon in end game because it's just like you lose Kokoro points and you're also making it so that's going to be harder for you to grind later to unlock some of these gates. But at the same time, um, you know, whatever. Okay, cool. Found a save point. All right. Awesome. That is great. If only Jess were here to see that. I'll tell her the good news, though. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Awesome. Um, so... Um, what we got going on now v3 all all geared up and ready to go honestly i really love this thing i'm i'm just like you know because I, I, I took a break from digimon you know that's a it's kind of a big thing this 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 whole digi daily started because of these guys and now we've kind of transitioning to doing actually starting to finally do different uh you know different lcd toys that i have and and uh, i'm really happy about that um, but at the same time, not having a Digimon by my side did feel weird. I won't lie to you guys. Um, so it's good to finally have something to run again uh, that is Digimon related. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to appreciate this because when I just showing this off, a lot of you guys um, definitely wanted me to show this off. And uh, I am more than happy to because, again, I love the original V Pets. Um, they're, they are hard as hell, but they're just so. There's something about them. I mean, there's a reason Bandai gave us like a million different bricks uh, and they're going to continue to because we're getting at least one more wave of bricks in america and then we'll figure out what the hell bandai america is going to be doing as far as either doing a pendulum uh, 20th or the dmx probably the pendulum 20th is going to be next if anything uh but yeah i'm just i'm in love with this thing it's just such a it's in such good condition too it's kind of crazy uh this is in better condition than my v1 and it only cost me you know couple more dollars than the v1 did so yeah 
but uh, everyone say goodbye because she will not be that obviously in like the next hour and uh yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching i'm so excited now we have a new area to go running around in i will be playing this more in my own free time so i can grind a bit more and we can get um get further in the story mode i don't know how long the story mode goes on for but i'd like to see where it goes i, I mean if we can actually beat the story mode on this thing that'd be pretty freaking sick um I, I did find out that you can safely remove the batteries from this thing and replace them. Um, I gotta ask the folks in the Battle Network um, Discord exactly how, though, because from what it looks like from a translation from the Korean um, instruction manual, you have to wait until the screen turns off and then you have to take one battery out at a time and replace them. So it seems like it is a little bit finicky, but it, it is possible. So that is a good thing. Although the batteries I'm putting here are pretty good. So I shouldn't have to worry too much. This thing should stay on for quite a while. I've had batteries in this thing last like a couple months. Um, so we shouldn't have to worry about that too, too much. But yeah, uh, goodbye. I do appreciate you watching. I really, really do. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a great Monday and a great day. Huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are the best. I really do appreciate all the support that you guys give me, even if it's such a small amount. It isn't to me. It means a lot to me, and it really does help the channel out more than you think. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social medias, that's all in the description down below. Subscribe if you like this episode. More will be coming with not only the V3, but with my other Mega Man stuff. Um, after the progress PET is done, I'm thinking about either showing off the advanced PET or the Link PET. It might be the Link PET just because I've been learning a lot about it thanks to the Discord and I'm getting a lot. I have now a larger chip collection for my Link PET than any of my other PETs, which is pretty nuts to say. Um, and I have a lot, like I said, a lot more stuff coming in that is gonna, if you're an enthusiast, it'll blow you away. It definitely blows me away thinking like, wow, I'm gonna have this stuff coming in the mail soon. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. And, Peace.